Lesson. Working with BAPIS. Lesson Overview. This lesson deals with the importance as well as the search for and use of BAPIS. Business Example. You want to use standard functions in your program that are encapsulated in BAPIS. Business Objects and BAPIS. The Business Object Repository, BOR, of the SAP system contains business objects. Formally, a business object is a class and corresponds to a SAP table or a table hierarchy. A business object has BAPIS, or Business Application Programming Interfaces, as methods. You can call these BAPIs to access the corresponding table. Hence, a BAPI is a means of accessing the data of the SAP system. BAPIs usually exist for basic functions of a business object, such as creating an object, retrieving the attributes of an object, changing the attributes of an object, listing the objects. The functions of a BAPI are encapsulated in a function model that can be called up remotely. Therefore, BAPIs can be called by ABAP programs of the same SAP system as well as by external programs. BAPI use There are standard methods in the form of BAPIs with standardized names. Some of the most important standard BAPIs are Standard BAPIs The get list It returns a list of available objects that meet the specified selection criteria. And get detail returns detailed information or attributes for an object the complete key must be specified. Create, Change, Delete, and Cancel allows you to create, change, and delete objects. Add item, remove item, adds and remove sub-objects, for example, item for an order. Let's talk about the BAPI Explorer. You can use the BAPI Explorer to list business objects as well as the corresponding BAPIs with reference to the application. To call up the BAPI explorers, use the following path in the SAP Easy Access menu. Tools, Business Framework, BAPI Explorer. Or you can use the transaction BAPI. Once you have found the required business object or BAPI, you can display its details on the right part of the screen by selecting the BAPI. You can navigate into its display by using the Function Builder, by double-clicking on the Display Function Model. So let's get into the system and let's take a look at the BAPI Explorer. So inside the system we navigate to the BAPI transaction to take a look at the BAPIs inside the system. So we write BAPI and we press enter. Then the BAPI Explorer loads to the screen for the flights. So that's how you can navigate and look for BAPIs in the system. The standard application components have a lot of standard BAPIs that you usually use in your Z customer 
program so it is very important that you know how to use a BAPI and you know how to navigate and how to find the associated function model for a BAPI attributes of a BAPI function model Function models for BAPIs must, fulf must fulfill the following technical requirements. Now, you remember our program C Flight Screen? So, last time we modified this program, it is showing an ALV in the main screen. So, we're going to modify that because we don't need that anymore so we're going to comment this line activate again and all, I'm doing all of this because we're going to create a BAPI for this program so let's run it and now we the name of that airline how can I do that so for example here I will call, use the pattern to call the function Z BAPI score get list and that will call my function model and here I would use the car ID and a table local table I have to declare of the same type returning my item and now I can get my airline from this table and pass it down to the screen and then it will show it to the screen so you use BAPIs basically like normal function models but to create them you need to accomplish specific uh, technical requirements and now be able to search for suitable BAPIs to use create BAPIs and call BAPIs in your program